What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Here's your qualifying results from Atlanta. Um, yeah, something messed up in the video. So, Carl Johnson, Samet Oscar, Seth Cole, Johnny Gardner, Doug Whitfield are all making it. Carter Friesen, Rusty Wheeler, Rusty Shackford, Joshua Sakelli, Derek Edison, George Hurst, Derek Hamill, Christian Russell, Jackie Jones, Max Luger, Jeffrey White, Eric Monaco, Max Anderson, Chase Marks, um, Chris, uh, Chris Stevens, uh, Ryan Monaco, Tim Brooks Jr., Buck Brotherton, Tim Randolph, and Dylan Young all are going to the house. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in and watching. Actually, it's probably before the sportsman race, so uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope you enjoy the sportsman race. Peace. How bad do you want it? How bad do you need it? Are you eating, sleeping, dreaming with that one? Gentlemen, and welcome here to Atlanta on the polls. Eric Rodriguez, followed by Joseph Curtis. Then it's Jessica Kinghart with a good qualifying run. Yeah. Then it's David Diaz, Will Goss, Seth Cole with a surprising fast lap and Q. Then it's um, Will Goss, Seth Cole, Luis Hernandez, James Kinghart with a good run, DJ Curtis, Joey Murphy, Carl Johnson, Zachary Fitzwater. Um, then we have Alan Matthews, Jeff Bright. Last week's winner, Je uh, Cynthia Bright starting deep. And then you go on the way back here. So the Eli Bright starting deep in the field. So last week, last week's race from Indianapolis to this week. Looks like RCR kind of fell off a little bit. Eric Rodriguez, though, trying to take the race lead early here in Hotlanta. PPG on board this week. They're also going to be on board at Pocono and maybe Watkins Glen next week. As the PPG colors are on board. Here comes Jessica Kinghart with a big head of momentum. There's a four train behind Kinghart. It's Goss, DJ Curtis, two SB Fords flying to the race lead. Will Goss last week finished second at Indianapolis behind Cynthia Bright. Now is up from here leading this day. Here comes DJ Curtis to the inside. These cars here at Atlanta are just tucked up and fast. It's like a plate race. There's no plates, so though. They're going 225 miles an hour into turn three. Carl Johnson, the rookie, looking to lead his first lap. Going to maybe get moved up out of the way by Alan Matthews. Here comes Dylan Schwallenberg, a guy who's really... Need a lot of help this season. Currently, right now, he is deep, 31st in the points. He's needing a very good run here today to help his point situation out. Three wide in the middle. Back there, Carl Johnson, DJ Curtis on the far outside. Alan Matthews getting moved up. Here comes Schwallenberg battling Lamas. Here comes Cynthia Bright, last week's winner. Getting a big run. Might make this four wide for the race lead. Actually just going to push Gator on. Gator Harrison, a rookie, going to the point. There's Ash Curtis right there in the 15. Napa Auto Parts, Chevrolet. Ash and Sam hooked up. They're both struggling deep in the points. They would love to, you know, keep their streaks alive of starting in the Sportsman Series. I think Ash Curtis has never missed a start. Sam did miss a couple back when we had old goer go home qualifying, but Ash Curtis has never missed the Sportsman start from season one all the way to now. Besides, I think he has missed maybe one month summer national, but other than that, he's never missed a season race. Not a race where you got to qualify to get in, and now Ash Curtis dropping to the back. Joey Murphy to the point. Cynthia Bright getting loose back there. Big wobble. And you go back here. Look back here, though. Maybe guys playing it safe. Oskin, Johnny Gardner, Max Anderson, Gallon Downey, Cody Monaco, Zach King, Eli Bright, and Bobby Striggle all playing it safe. New leader Scott Roush in the number 28. Haviland Ford. 
Scott Roush would love to win here in Atlanta. And at number 28 for Roush Racing, there's his teammate Blake Warren making a pass to the inside. Getting pushed from William Brock. And then there's Robbie Jackson getting a shove here from John Gilbert. John Gilbert moved away from Ford Performance, getting pushed now by a couple of Ford Performance car or American Motorsports. Excuse me, I've had a long time saying Ford Performance. That's what I'm used to. But American Motorsports cars of Jack Lagsey and Tony Newman pushing the number 41 of John Gilbert. And American Motor or High Flying Motorsports will lead their first lap of 2019 here comes the 34 could American Motorsports lead their first lap of 2019 here at Atlanta I don't know if y'all noticed but here comes the points leader and American Motorsports will lead their first lap of 2019 and the points leader got shuffled up to the second groove that's Jeff Bright the points leader First time RCR has had a points lead. Oh, and I think we have had a caution. Oh, wow. A lot of torn up cars. Cody Monaco's destroyed. Eric Rodriguez has got a lot of damage to the PPG Ford. There's Joey Murphy. Johnny Gardner's got damage. Cody Lamas is blowing up. So something has happened here at Atlanta Motor Speedway, and oh, Will Goss was up and over. So something happened. It's up here with Eric. Oh, Johnny Gardner just uh, just drove, and I think him and yeah, him and Justin Jones make a little contact, and that's what gets into Joey Murphy, and around they go. Cody Lamas really had nowhere to go. He just ran over Goss. Watch the, yeah, look at that. Just that little pop at that high of a speed just throws the two car up. And Will Goss just goes for a wild ride into the grass up and over. And, oh, that was a pretty nasty hit to the wall. We've seen him driving around, though, so he's okay. But look at this. Bobby Striggle missed it. Eli Bright, Max Anderson, guys who were riding around in the back, did miss this wreck. But, man, let's see what we got on the onboard here for Will Goss. I mean, you saw all the all the all the mechanisms to keep that car grounded did deploy. You see the hood, you see the roof flaps and the hood flaps. It's just at this rate of speed that these sportsman cars are going. As soon as the 96 came through. Actually, I don't think they were just going to wreck, to be honest. Watch. Cody gets in the back. Justin Jones does have a little damage. It's right here where the 96... Actually, never mind. I think Cody does jack the wheels off the ground. Let's see. Clear. Um, yeah. That's what throws the 48 back up and around. I think Cody's got... Oh, Cody did hit the wall pretty hard, and he got into his teammate. Or Joey Murphy just, you know, just never really had any shot to miss him. And that's what killed the motor on the 48. Goss is still sitting on pit road. Cody Monaco's got the front end torn off of the 96. Eric Rodriguez, I don't think they really did a lot to that car. Johnny Gardner, they, they didn't do a lot to his car either. I think they did knock the, the rear end on Eric's car down. But you can see he's still got a he's got a side that's pretty bashed in on one side and mashed in on the other side. Johnny Garner's got the deck lid popped up. So we're gonna go up to the front here. Let's see if the lights go off this time. If they do, we're just gonna stay on stay with you. If they don't, we're gonna go to break. Lights are off though. Will Goss's car, I think, is now officially retired out of the show. Yes, it is. Joey Murphy or Cody Lamas tore the ignition out of that car. So currently, as we run, it's Jack Legacy, Jeff Bright, Luis Hernandez, Doug Whitfield. Surprise qualifying here today. Then we have Alexander Rowe, John Gilbert, Scott Roush, Tony Newman, James Kinghart, Robbie Jackson, Sam Curtis, Diego Yepes, Ash Curtis, William Brock, Seth Cole, DJ Curtis, Jessica Kinghart, 
Blake Warren, Zachary Fitzwater, Joseph Curtis, Carl Johnson, David Diaz, Dylan Schwallenberg, Cynthia Bright, Alan Matthews, Jonathan Zorlian, Samet Oskin, Gator Harrison, Gatlin Downey, Zach King, Justin Jones. Did Justin Jones come in and get some of that fixed? I really can't tell if Justin Jones got any of that car fixed. His nose does look a little buckled in the front. And it's Anderson, Downey, Bright, Gardner, Rodriguez, and Monaco. Pace car is coming in. Let's see what happens. Green flag back in the air here at Atlanta. And the two Chevrolets kind of had the same idea. They were going to go up to the top. And maybe try to pass the 34. Wow, the 31 actually skits up in the wall a tiny bit. We saw that little scrape and a little spark. Here comes Hernandez looking to win his first race of the season. Exalta on board. This gray and rainbow Exalta Chevrolet. Look at the lead a lap here. Atlanta will get that done. Now Doug Whitfield coming. A surprise rookie. Nobody really knew where this kid was going to come from. Now leading at Atlanta. But he's got a veteran and John Gilbert behind him. Who would love to win for his new team, High Flying Motorsports. He's got Scott Roush back there behind him pushing him. Tony Newman making a push. I'm going to go back here and look at the back. Yeah, Eric Rodriguez is pretty torn up. Scott Roush will lead at Atlanta. A car that's won here at Atlanta before, though, is Robbie Jackson. Currently running up here in about the fourth spot. Going to move up to second here. Here comes Seth Cole and James Kinghart. They're weeble wobbling back there. Justin Jones, you see, maybe the damage, yeah, it has affected that over oh, the 42 car. But now it's time to start to move up through the field. If you're dealing with you got to get up to the front. Right now where you're at, 25th, really, I don't think that's going to, I mean, you're 31st in points. If you want to have a shot at the title, you got to move up. Car out of shape. From the inside, but Robbie Jackson will lead again at Atlanta. A lot of a lot of issues this season for the Dodge camp. A lot of teams came on board, jumped on with Dodge, and it really hurt the the factory support that this RJI team had currently right now. I think only one RJI car is in the show. We got a car in the grass, Joseph Curtis. I thought I heard spinning and crashing, but Joseph Curtis went through the grass, almost a pass in the grass situation, and now he's lined up right behind Robbie Jackson. They're starting to get a little single file. Robbie Jackson maybe going to try to block some lanes. Yeah, look at him. He went to the bottom to block the six. Now he's going to go to the high side to keep the six behind him. Now Ash Curtis to the second spot. Ash Curtis at one point was the all-time leading winner in sportsman history. He has, he's lost that over the seasons, but he is still one of the one of the drivers. A lot of these sportsman guys go and talk to and ask for advice. And look at him, he's gonna get Robbie up out of the way. Coming to ten to go. Ash Curtis will take the race lead here at Atlanta. Here comes. Actually, ooh, sorry. Here comes Jack Legacy back. David Diaz, a car that was deep in the field now, has showed his face near the front of the field. There's also last week's winner, Cynthia Bright. Still got a lot of racing to do, though, but right now seeing all these new faces coming to the front. Cynthia Bright going for the lead. It's going to make it three wide for the race lead. Jack Legacy going to back out of it. Schwallenberg going to drive that thing down. He won here last season at Atlanta. This season, hoping to maybe 
Get up here and repeat. Zach King now to the inside. Currently, Zach King not in the top 35 in points. A win could possibly get him in. Blake Warren now going to the race lead. Blake has not won a race since his rookie year at Auto Club. Could he get the job done today at Atlanta? Getting shoved by Alan Matthews. Here comes Tony Newman. Here comes James Kinghart. A&W Root Beer. Getting pushed by Wheaties. On that inside row. Here comes Zachary Fitzwater. Seth Cole. Jonathan Zorlian. Another former Atlanta winner, Alexander Rowe. We had a car on the apron. I think it was DJ Curtis. And it's checked up John Gilbert and a couple of those cars back there because they didn't want to wreck him. But Blake Warren right now is sailing. Caution is out, actually. On the speedway, Carl Johnson has crashed. Now, I don't know if this we're going to get this back under green. But right now, if we don't, it's a Roush 1-2 finish with Blake first. And Fitzwater second. Pace car is on the front straightaway. As we're coming to lap 29. I really don't think we're getting this back underway. Let's see what happened to Carl Johnson. Something had to happen to him. Oh, whoa. I got last week's winner involved. That's why we seen DJ Curtis to the apron. They got four wide and a little squeeze happened and David Diaz just really nowhere to go and Cynthia Bright got into it. Jeff Bright almost got a piece of it. But Carl Johnson was up in the wall pretty torn up. Fitzwater's just begging for a quickie yellow. He says, come on guys, there's nothing on the track. You know Seth Cole, the rookie back there, is hoping we go back green. He's got a shot. Eli Bright would like to make it a bright back-to-back. Zorlium would love to win. There are some cars back here that would love to get a win here. So we'll get you back to the we'll get you back and see what happens. Are we gonna go back green or not? Alright boys. It's time to hang on to your britches. We're gonna get the white flag and that's gonna be a one lap shootout. And a lot of these cars back here are hoping that, that was gonna happen and this The seventeen is either gonna have to play teammate and hold off everybody behind him. Or the set, or the seventeen's gonna go for the race win. Who's gonna get it done in Atlanta? Here we go. Can Blake Warren hold off Fitzwater? Can Seth Cole win his first race? Can Eli Bright get it done? Zorli, James Kinghart, Alexander Rowe, Tony Newman. The top eight's going to be my picks here. Oh, the 17 went to the wall. Maybe to help his teammate. Mmm. Oh, I wouldn't have done that. I think Fitzwater did it to maybe try to help the teammate out. Seth Cole to the inside. We're going to have a rookie win his first race here at Atlanta through three and four. Coming to the start finish line, Seth Cole is going to win in Atlanta. And what could have been a Roush 1 2 finish? Becomes a rookie, getting his first win in the Target Chevrolet. Good run there for James Kinghart. He really needed that. But Seth Cole is going to go to victory lane. Oh, whoa. Zachary Fitzwater is destroyed. Wow. So I don't know what just happened here, but it looks like Zorlin, I don't know if he was mad about what happened on the restart. Because he drives up into the rear 
of Fitzwater, and then I just think Fitzwater just gunned it, and they went hell hard into the wall and just tore up a couple race cars. Both of them are pretty torn up. Not a 18th place for Dylan Schwellenberg. That's not what he wanted to see today. But Seth Cole will go to Gatorade Victory Lane and celebrate with his team. There's a lot of teams now maybe looking for some drivers next season. Seeing Seth Cole out here winning here at Atlanta could be big for him. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your official standings. Seth Cole, Blake Warren, James Kinghart, Zachary Fitzwater, Alexander Rowe, Newman, Bright, Zorley, and Yepez, Samet Oskin, DJ Curtis, and Joseph Curtis. That's your top 12 ladies and gentlemen from 13th on down. You can see where you finish from there. Pause the video, guys. We will see you guys next week from the beautiful Watkins Glen road course. Till we meet again, everybody.